Well, uh, for all today's memorial events, the sun has been shining. So let's pause for a moment and get a check on the weather uh, for the next few days with Elizabeth in the studio. Hi. Hello, thank you, Riz. The sun's certainly been shining. Lots of blue sky right across the capital, as you can see from our weather watcher photos here. Beautiful one from Charlton. Just a few clouds in the sky there. Things are actually set to turn warmer as we head through the rest of the week as well. Why is this? Well, there's a heat wave across Spain, southwest France. All of that hot air will be rising towards us with temperatures likely to peak for us on Friday over 30 degrees Celsius. It won't last because there'll be a heavy thundery downpour as we head through the weekend. A thundery breakdown, but certainly turning hot and increasingly humid as well. Now, overnight tonight, there'll be lots of clear skies around. Temperatures will drop back into single figures, I think, in some of the rural spots. It won't be quite as chilly as it was earlier on this morning, though. Many of our temperatures staying in double figures. As you can see, tomorrow the heat starts to rise. We will see a warmer feeling day. Lots of sunshine around the pollen levels tomorrow. Very high. I'm sure you know about that if you are a hay fever sufferer. And it will start to feel a little bit more humid as well. 27 degrees Celsius for many spots. We got to 25 today. Let's just take a quick look at Thursday when again we're expecting highs of 27 Celsius through the afternoon. Feeling increasingly humid again. The sunshine is likely to continue. So what happens on Friday? Well, we're drawing that very warm air moving in from the south. We've got low pressure systems up towards the north and the west. That will be sinking southwards, introducing fresher feeling air over the weekend. So I want to show you the temperatures now. What will we see on Friday? I think probably 30 to 33 degrees, somewhere north of London, away from the strength of this southwesterly breeze. It will feel quite light, but that's where we're likely to see the highest temperatures, 32 or 33 degrees. But it's quite a short spike in temperature because, as you you can see here we may well stay in the warm air on Saturday but we're expecting to see some heavy thundery downpours develop from that cold colder feeling air the cold front sinking southwards big drop in temperature by Sunday which could turn out to be rather wet still lots of uncertainty keep an eye on the forecast back to you Riz